This is how you use the IMAX B6 charger. Now this is just a quick overview of the charger. So on the left here you can see you've got the AC connection there which you can plug there into 240 volt. Or if you're on the road you can use uh, a cable like this and plug into the 12 volt there and plug into a cigarette lighter in your car. The AC cable comes with the charger but I had to go out and buy this, uh, this cable separately which it wasn't too expensive, I just got it from JCar. On the right side here, you've got your cable that you connect to your battery. So the positive will go in there, negative into there. Make sure you don't get that the wrong, the wrong way around or you could damage your battery. Uh, and then above that is the balancing cables. So depending uh, how many cells your battery are, you can see that it tells you which is what, but you've got two cell there, three cell there, four cell, etc. So this can do it up to six cell batteries. And then lastly on the front here is your, you've got your display there which will tell you everything and then four buttons along here which I'll show you how to use. So I'm just plugging in the AC connection for mine here and yeah, as you can see it turns on. On the right side just plugging in the main power cables. Now in the main menu there's a few different settings. Um, all you need to worry about is probably the battery meter so you can connect up a battery, select that and it will tell you the voltage and that it's at. In the system settings there's just a couple of different options as is, such as the uh, cutoffs and um, safety timers. Don't need to worry too much about that. So when you're going to charge a battery you need to select the chemistry that it is. So you see so you got LiPo, LiFi, there's a few different other ones, lithium iron. The battery that I'm using is a LiPo battery which you can see there. It is a two cell 7.4 volt battery and has a capacity of 1500 million powers or 1.5 amp hours. This is important information to know. So for me to charge this battery, I've got on my main power cable here, the proper connector that I have. So I've got the, uh, the adapter hooked up, which th this um, unit comes with. So I'm gonna hook up the main discharge cables. And then on the side, I'm gonna put the corresponding um, balancing cable in. So this is a two cell battery, so I've got it in the two cell. Now to charge this battery, you want to go as it's LiPo, LiPo. It comes up with a couple of different settings, as you can see. But if we're going to charge the battery, you want to do balance charge. So that it will actually balance the two cells in the battery. So if you just do a standard charge over time with many discharge and charge cycles, the, volt the voltages of the two cells will actually um, be different and that can be dangerous for a number of reasons. If one battery goes over voltage that can cause the battery to puff up and can cause a fire while the other reason is if under discharge and one goes too low you can severely damage the battery. So we definitely want to go to balance charge which will make sure that both cells will be the same voltage so you always want to use this. So I've selected balance charge. The first setting you need to change is the amount of current going into the battery. Now the best now the optimum to do is to charge at 1C, which is one times the capacity of the battery. And this one is 1.5 amp hours. So we want to change this to 1.5. So 1.5 amps. Next, this is the amount of cells in the battery. So this is a two cell battery. So we're on the right setting here, but there is other, so you've got three cell, four cell, so on. So we're gonna go two cell, press next. Now to start charging, you hold it down and confirm. And now it'll start charging. And there's a couple of different readouts here. This one is the amount of current going into the battery. So it's at 1.5 at the moment, which is what we set it to. Next, next to it is the voltage of the battery, which will go up as it charges. Down here is how long it's been going for. And here is the amount of energy going into it in milliamp hours, which is at 12 milliamp hours at the moment. Now if you press this button, uh, you can see the individual cell voltage. So as it goes up, the balance charge will make sure this is the same or capped off at the same. So we won't, so one battery won't go too high. If you press it again, there's a couple of other readouts. So you see the estimated um, percentage of energy in the battery. And you press this button, you've got your end voltage there. Uh, in power voltage from here from this and then if you press this it's got the internal and external temperatures so if you want an external temperature sensor you can plug that in here and then you'd put that on your battery so that the charger will manage the temperature of the battery and won't put in too much charge if it is getting hot so that's probably a good thing to do but below that is the internal temperature which is of the unit itself now that we're charging we definitely want to use a LiPo safe bag and put the battery inside that. 
Just to minimize the fire risk, if something does go wrong with the battery, it's contained in here and will give you more time to manage the situation. And also you never wanna leave the room while you're charging these batteries, just so that if something does happen, you can manage the situation as quickly as possible. So you've charged the battery at full and after playing a gelball game for the whole day, uh, you wanna put the battery into a storage mode, which this charger can do. So LiPo, um, now instead of balance charge, you go across to LiPo storage, press enter. Again, same thing, it would be 1.5 amps, as I'm using 1.5 amp hour battery. Next, 7.4 volt, two cell, enter and start. Now, as you can see, it's actually lowering the voltage of the battery because it's too high. So it's putting it back down to the best storage voltage for the battery where it's going to last the longest on the shelf. Now, the last thing you can do with this charger is actually do a discharge. So let's just say you want to see the capacity, the true capacity of your battery or something like that. Again, we'll go LiPo. Now go across to LiPo discharge. Now again, you want to do this at 1C. So 1.5 amps. I sometimes just go lower than that. Um, so I'll usually drop that down to an amp. Enter, again, 7.4 volt, two cell, start. And as you can see, it's going to start discharging the battery. Now it hasn't gone to the one amp that I've suggested because the, char the charger obviously thinks that 0.6 is going to be safer and more efficient to just charge the battery. So that's fine. Now I have another battery here, as, as you can see, it is a now, just for an example, I have another battery here, which as you can see is a LiPo, again, 1.5 amp hour, but it's actually a three cell 11.4 volt. Now to charge this one, again, we'll go through the same, the exact same steps. So plug in the, so plug in the main discharge cable on the side here. We want to plug it in, not to the two cell, but actually to the three cell balancing port. Again, so it's a LiPo battery. We wanna to go to balance charge. Now the capacity is, is 1.5 amp hour. So again, we'll keep that at 1.5. Now this we wanna to change to three cell, 11.1 volt. And start. Now just as one last example, uh, again, this is a LiPo battery. I've got a, it's a two cell 7.4 volt, but it's got an increased capacity of 3.3 amp hours, 3300 milliamp hours. So again, we plug in the main discharge port. Now this is a two cell battery, so we plug it into the two cell balancing port. And it's a LiPo, uh, balance charge. Now this we can actually put up to 3.3 as that will be charging at 1C or one times the capacity of the battery. Next, we wanna change this to two cell 7.4 volt and we can start that. If you needed any more information about batteries for gel blasters, check out my last video where I go about the basics, so I might answer your question there. Otherwise, ask down below and I'll get around to answering any questions. Thanks for watching, see you next time.